beautiful cats and kittens and welcome to this week's edition of Tiger of the Week. Our heroes. Later on, you are going to hear about who each of our heroes are and why. And we hope that this makes you think about who your heroes are and why and gives you something to work towards. And without further ado, Miss Masol, what time is it? It's tiger time! <gasps> Yay! G-E-R-T-I-G-E-R-T-I-G-E-R Tigers, tigers, sister she's a social worker um she's my hero because she's remarkable she's amazing and she tr always tries her best i wish that i can learn from her she has such a confident the confidence that i want um and she's also very sensitive to the emotion of others um she helps individuals families and groups of people to cope with their problems. And whenever I have a problem, I can always go and talk to my sister. She's always given me the best advice. And she cares so much for my mom mm. that I wish I could be like her. So we are gonna start it off with our 3K Tigers. We have Ivana P. And guess what she did, Miss Salonitro? Did she complete foundations? She sure <laughs> did. Woo, woo. And then we have Marik S. And what did he do, Ms. Benitez? Complete foundations. Oh. And then we have Diella C. S. Who, Mr. Ravi? Completed foundations? Yeah. Wow. And then Sophia M., Miss Vaughn. She completed foundations. <laughs> and Tiny's N, Miss Masal. Completed foundation. She sure did. <laughs> Benjamin E, Miss Fanny. Completed foundations. Absolutely. <laughs> and we also have Jorge A, who logs in every day, does all his work and enjoys sharing and all the fun he's doing. We have Jaden B, who logs in every day 
and shows his classmates with a smile. We have Rosalind A, who also shares in all the fun. Esther A, who's been completing her assignments daily. Rosemarley P for making sure she gets all her work done and likes to show her classmates the fun she's having while doing it. Talia C for logging in every single day and doing her work. Legend B who goes to one of the rec centers and does all of his work there and then gets on the computer and does all his remote learning also. So double work, amazing. Then there's Sophia M again for her and mom. Your teacher is super proud of you. She has written two letters all by herself. God, she's three. What? What? And she wrote two letters all by herself. She has shown so much in her fine motor growth skills. Good job. Start talking. Okay, my, my two heroes are my mommy and my daughter. And this is a picture of us three together because my mommy had a sixth grade education, but she taught me everything I needed to know, myself and my five siblings. And I'm the oldest, <laughs> I know the most. <laughs> I got it all first. <laughs> she, <laughs> she taught me to always give God credit for his creations, to always be thankful, to be kind, to do the right thing, to work hard, and most important, believe in myself. Her, she's the better me. She's all of those things that my mommy taught me, but she does it better than I do. And I admire her so much. And every day I want to grow up and be like her. Wow. And then for our pre K, our pre K, we have Owen. And guess what he did, Miss Deliver? Um. I don't know. Did he complete foundation? He sure did. <laughs> and then there's Starling C, Miss Salonitro. Who completed foundations. Caden R, Miss Benitez. For completing foundations. Kaylee B, Mr. Ramdas. Don't tell me. Completed foundations. You got that right. <laughs> And we also have from pre-K, Daniela E for doing her classwork. She drew a picture of a veterinarian and she knows that veterinarians take care of animals. Oh, nice. Nice. Really? We also have Kaylee A, who likes to go on Google Meets and see her friends and completing her classwork every week. And we have Kaylee B, who does her classwork, and when she went to the zoo, you know what she saw, guys? She saw monkeys, giraffes, and zebras. Wow. Oh, wow. That was so cool. cool. So cool. I say it's probably teachers. And when I think back to my education, probably as far back as I could remember, I remember my math teachers, at, but most specifically, I remember my English teacher in high school, Charles DeWitt Clinton High School in the Bronx, I think, late 80s. And she was tough as nails. Kind of remind me of Miss Vaughn. <laughs> but she had the biggest heart. And you had to take the time to really understand that she wanted the best for you in life when you look back that's when you realize that wow she really meant well i just didn't understand her and <clears throat> there are so many people that i could think of actually a lot of people in uh, when you look back at history like the roman emperors and uh, there is actually one saying that comes to mind from um, steve jobs and he said that life doesn't make sense looking forward. It only makes sense looking from the rear view mirror, looking backwards. Because and now for our kindergarten tigers of the week. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
we have Chris M. And you know what he did, Ms. Vaughn? He completed his foundations, I bet you. I bet you he did. And yeah. then we have Avriana G, Miss Salonitro. Who completed foundations. We have Lamar O, Miss Munoz. Complete foundations. <laughs> we have Jaden H, Miss Masal. Did he complete foundations too? Yes, he did. Awesome. We also have Valerie A, who's been completing her assignments during remote learning. And she better because her father is Mr. Acevedo, <laughs> our secondary <laughs> teacher. <laughs> we have Kevin R for coming to Google Meets ready to learn. We have Gavin D. Guys, Gavin can count from zero to 100. What? what? That's amazing. Yep. Really cool. mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Then we have Elena, who is responsible. She's enjoying doing all of her classwork, like reading 12 books by Bruce Larkins, reading high frequency words, submitting them on time with photos and short videos using Screencastify. Really? In kindergarten. Wow. In kindergarten. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Then we have Haley C for submitting her classwork, reading her high frequency words and books with Bruce Larkins with patterns, and for always coming on to Google Meet with her teacher. Yeah. yeah. We have Axel G for always trying his best. Yamale M for visiting Google Classroom and doing your assignments. And then we have a whole bunch <laughs> of students from a very special class. What class is that, Ms. Benitez? K4. What? It's K4. Okay. Let me read you. Let me read you the wonderful, wonderful things that your teacher said. Ms. Benitez and Ms. Reyes are so proud of all of you. Each of you have been working so hard to complete your assignments daily, as well as interacting with your teachers and classmates on Google Meets. Michelle, you're always smiling. I know I am. Oh, you mean Michelle in your class? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, Mr. Dale. <laughs> so, Michelle, She's always smiling and trying her best during her reading assessments and her sessions. Yes, she is. I love watching them. Silas for always showing appreciation and empathy towards his teachers. Louis Miguel for greeting his teachers daily. Marco for sharing a video message about all the facts he learned about spring. Super cool. Rut for being very attentive during the sessions and learning her letters and sounds. There's, then we have Caitlin for completing her informational project about the seasons. Chris and Ismael for working hard to complete their assignments and becoming super readers. Damien for always being eager to learn new things. Ima excuse me, Emmanuel for expressing his ideas clearly and trying his best to complete assignments. Aubrey for logging on and always having an amazing smile and having so much energy. And Nala for always trying her best. Mm. Yeah. My favorite heroes are firefighters. Firefighters like other heroes are super brave and they help save us from fires and other dangerous situations. Um, so some of you maybe might become firefighters when you grow up, and I can't wait to see who that will be. And now for our first grade Tigers of the Week. To kick it off, let's head down to Miss Sally Nitro. Hi, Tigers from 1-5. You're all doing a great job. I want to do a few shout outs to some of my Tigers that have been logging into their Google Meet times with me. It's such a great time to see you and i love reading with you so sh super shout outs for maurice kevin 
Isaias and Ahmed, who all logged into their Google Meet time. Great job. Hey. Awesome. Awesome job. And from first grade, we also have Hazel, who's been getting all her work in on time. Good job, first grade. They are doing, they are heroes. They help everybody. Help the teacher, help the kids, help um, uh, the principal, the sister's principals, everybody. Yep. So I, I want to honor them um, because they always say yes when you ask something, when you ask for help. And I did that. This is a, like a super pink part. <laughs> And now for our second graders. We have Hector B for getting all his work in on time. We have Imran for getting his work in on time. We have Yaya, who has been a star reader. What? Yaya read for more than four hours in the last seven days. Wow. Awesome. Well, awesome. Right. That is yeah. awesome, Yaya. Way to go. And we also have Vincent F for handing his work in on time. Good yeah. job, second graders. So have Aiden, who with family support, attends every art class. He completes all of his assignments and uses materials to complete his work. He shows integrity, enthusiasm, and engagement. Jolly good work, Aiden. Spider-Man has great powers that comes with great responsibility. And all you children are my Spider-Man because you all do such a great job. So you're all my hero. I'm very proud of you. And now for our third grade Tigers of the Week, we have Walter S. who's been completing his Google Classroom assignments and doing his daily attendance work diligently. Yeah. And Ian A, who's been going on to Raz Kids and completing his independent reading. Good job. Yay. I'm Zora Neale Hurston from the African American Harlem Renaissance period. She wrote, Their Eyes Were Watching God, and many other writings that focused on dialect of the old south and old slaves she is a child of two former slaves so i just wanted to share that with you because she was a liberator she was a feminist and she was a talented beautiful african-american woman who i like me yeah. and now for our fourth grade tigers we have johan a who got the riddle right on his first try Oh, good That's impressive. Good nice. We have Jessica D, who is a riddle solver extraordinaire. <laughs> we have Jaden C, Alejandra S, and Alexis M, who are the first ones to arrive to class each morning on Google Meets and the last ones to leave. Uh -huh. Good job. That is integrity and responsibility. Good job. Yes. My heroes are essential workers because without them, we would be even worse off than we are now in this pandemic because every day nurses, doctors, grocery store workers, transit workers, policemen, firemen, healthcare, everybody who is still going to work and making it possible for us to stay at home and risking their lives and doing it, we thank you. There's not enough thank yous. Okay. Absolutely. And for our fifth grade Tigers of the Week, take it away, Mr. Ramdas. Yay, our seniors, you guys rock. 501-505. I wanna give a special shout out to all of you that logs on, but especially to the ones that carry the conversation in the classroom, Maurice Ramirez, Cedric Amir, uh, Alvin, and Rayleigh. Thank you guys. You make the conversation flow every day. 
and thank the rest of you for logging in and providing support in the classroom. Keep up the good work. Good job, Tigers. And also from fifth grade, we have Amir T, who always completes his science assignments fully and shows gratitude and kindness. He is a true PS48 Tiger. We have Miguel P. Now let me say something about Miguel P. Ever since remote learning started, he has not missed a single assignment. Wow. Not one. Wow. wow. He has done everything that has been asked of him. If there's a mistake that he makes because we're all learning, he fixes it and mm. revises his work and resubmits it. Nice job. Good job. And he's always asking for feedback. Nice job. So Miguel P, good job being a tiger. You are a real tiger, my man. <laughs> Alexander A, who's engaged in math lessons and continuously challenges himself. Gabriella S, who is super responsible, present, and reflective throughout all of remote learning. Libby Z, who's an all-around tiger. She's been nominated almost every single week Woo! for Has her teamwork, integrity, gratitude, empathy, and respect. And your teacher said, Libby, I am dropping the mic now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Devin V, who received his computer later on in the game, but has been jumping right onto the learning, completed his assignments that were passed due, and then caught up with his current assignments. Good job. Thank you, yes. Devin. Jalea, who's a hard worker, attends class each day and completes all the assignments on time. Jaden R., who also recently received his computer, but has been on top of all the work getting it completed. We have Juliet B, who takes pride in her work, completes her assignments, and participates, and courageously shares her ideas. Eulabel R, who's being consistent and focused in math. And Haley T, who's been solving riddles like a good detective. Yes. Say special shout out to Janelle Savage, to uh, Darlin uh, to Dario for fifth grade conversations in the classroom and Genesis. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to say two shout outs to Saul and to Desire because I see them in the whenever I go in. And now for our staff, we have Miss Carpenter. Thank you for being a tiger to me in school and out of school. I appreciate your team spirit, openness, helping hand and understanding. <laughs> we also have, we have Miss Mayo, who Yay. has a weekly art class supporting her student and she gently encourages him redirects him if he's off task and her compassionate support and empathy towards her student and all students shows team manship in carrying out her duties as a paraprofessional is much obliged for the old school educational social emotional supports during art class yes we also have Ms. Glamour, and this is from Ms. Deliver. Ms. Glamour, um, that despite the, the, the setbacks that she might have had or some challenges during this pandemic, she has risen to the occasion, came back, is doing the, the assignments and cheerfully um, supporting her peers. Okay, this is, this is what I said, that I wanted to give a shout out all the teachers and you know we have a lot going on in our house like, like so to speak as Miss <laughs> Adeo is not here right now we have things that go on yet we still do this so you know that, that was my shout out 
uh, to Miss Claymore. Shout out. So we could Miss Polinetsky from Miss Deliver for all that she does for her children in art class. Woo. And we have Miss Bond and Mr. Langley for consistently demonstrating all dates and encouraging their students to come in and reminding them the value and importance of the cluster classes. Woo! We also have Miss Wanda, who is supportive, Yay. generous, and kind. She has a wonderful rapport with parents, students, and thank you for being so flexible, communicative, and kind. Yay. We also have Miss Canna Lawson and Miss Shay. Both teachers have consistently integrated lessons in sync with visual arts objectives, such as creating character puppets and settings as a platform for teaching story elements. They Ooh. always express their appreciation and integrity in collaborating lessons and ideas. We also have Mr. Ramdas. This comes from one of your teammates who said, thank you, thank you for welcoming me as part of the team. I appreciate the support you've provided me with computer issues and any other issues that that person was facing. Have Ms. Farino, who shows compassion to this person who nominated her, to her students and colleagues. Thank you for including everybody on your team and helping to build on ideas. And we also have Miss Mac and Miss Bautista. Ooh. These paras have gone above and beyond, both behind the scenes and for all to see. Yes. And I would like to add for this week, two other Tigers of the Week, and that is Miss Vaughn, and Ms. Wire, because oh, thank you. I look up to them and they help me on a daily basis as thought partners, as life problem partners, as <laughs> they are my, my sisters and, and I really, really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me and for us as a team, and I feel like we've never been closer, and I love being able to sit and talk with you guys and plan. Yeah. And Emily has a Tiger of the Week that she wants to say. Okay. Yes. What? And tell her what? Yeah. Because you are the best teacher in the world. Oh my oh, God. Oh, oh, God. God. Our favorite heroes. And thank you to all our heroes. And we will see you again next week, Tiger Nation. Yay! Bye. 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 Bye.